let's get started. This is Bikram's beginning yoga class, and I am Jackie, your instructor. Have a wonderful class. First, we have a breathing exercise, pranayama breathing, deep breathing, good for the lungs and respiratory system. Please listen carefully. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale and exhale should be through the throat. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. In through the nose, out through the mouth, all the time through the throat. Close the mouth for only passage rates. Feet together nicely, toes and heels touching each other. All 10 fingers interlock underneath your chin, full grip. Hands always touching the chin like glue. Relax your shoulders, swallow a couple of times. Look in the mirror, concentrate, meditate. Bring your chin down a little bit. Begin. Inhale, head down, arms up, in through the nose, fill your lungs. Good. Exhale, head up, push your head back, way, way back, out through the mouth, elbows forward to touch. Inhale, head down. Arms up, suck your stomach in, stretch your Inhale, head down, arms up, suck your stomach in, stretch your spine up, in through your nose. Exhale, head up. Push your head back out to the mouth. H-A-R sound. Feel it in the back of your throat. Inhale. Head down. Arms up. Suck your stomach in. The more you suck it in, the more you'll use your lungs. Exhale. Head up. Push your head back. Way, way back. Push all the air out. Body weight in your heels. Inhale. Head down. Arms up, elbows up as high as possible. Shoulders might hurt a little bit. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, way, way back. Push all the air out. Body weight in your heels. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale, head up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale, head down, arms up. Open your rib cage, open and fill your lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Take six seconds to bring your elbows together away from your chest. Inhale, head down, arms up. Suck your stomach in, stretch your spine up in through your nose. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, way, way back. Push all the air out to make room for new air. Inhale, head down, arms up. Suck your stomach in. The more you suck it in, the more you'll use your lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, eyes open. Look at the wall behind you, careful. No backward bend. All right, last one, first set. Inhale, head down. Arms up, eyes open, look in the mirror, fill your lungs with air. Exhale, head up, push your head back, way, way back, push all the air out, body weight in your heels. All right. Get ready for a second set. Toes and heels together, touching each other. All 10 fingers interlocked underneath your chin, full grip. Hands always touching the chin, like glue. Second set, begin, please. Inhale, head down, arms up, in through your nose, fill your lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back, eyes open, look at the wall behind you, careful, no backward bending. Inhale, head down, arms up, suck your stomach in, stretch your spine up, in through your nose. Exhale, head up. Push your head back out through your mouth. H-A-R ah, sound. Feel it in the back of your throat. Inhale. Head down. Arms up. Open your rib cage. Open and fill your lungs with air. Exhale. Head up. Push your head back. Way, way back. Push all the air out to make room for new air. Inhale. Head down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, hold it. Inhale, head down, arms up, slower you go, better you do, fill your lungs with air. Exhale, head up, push your head back, way, way back, push all of your out to make room for new air. Inhale, head down, arms up, eyes open, look in the mirror, fill your lungs with air. Exhale, head up, push your head back, Body weight in the heels, relax your shoulders. Inhale, head down, arms up, suck your stomach in. The more you suck it in, the more you'll use your lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back, careful, no backward bending. Body weight in your heel. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it, exhale, head up, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it, inhale, head down, arms up, eyes open, look in the mirror, fill your lungs with air, exhale, head up, push your head back, take six seconds to bring your elbows together, away from your chest. Careful, no backward bending. All right, last one, make it your best. Inhale, head down, arms up, suck your stomach in, stretch your spine up in through your nose. Exhale, head up, push your head back, way, way back, push all the air out, body weight in your heels. All right, relax your arms down by your side. Now throughout the rest of class, breathing is normal, which means you breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, mouth closed. Half moon pose, everybody together. Feet together at the line, heels and toes touching each other. Arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs cross. Keep a nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Hands, palms touching each other, light glue up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. Stretch it to the ceiling, right and left several times, right and left, right and left, right and left. You should feel stretching down both sides of the body, all the way up to the fingertips. In other words, you are trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch up anymore, please stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with the ears. No gap between the biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit toward the mirror, opening up hips and pelvis. Upper body leaning back a couple of inches, opening up chest and rib cage throughout the posture. Maximum body weight on your heels, arms and head back. Chin up, concentrate. One point in the mirror, don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, breathing, full lungs. Stretch up out of the waist, try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, totally bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows or your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of the body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips more forward, upper body back, more weight in the heels. Bring your left hip forward to get your two hips in one line, right shoulder forward to open up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, really come up, stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with the ears, no gap between the biceps, arms and ears. Inhale, breathing, full on, stretch up out of the waist, try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, totally bend your body to the left without bending your elbows or your knees, continuously push your hips to the right. Beyond your flexibility, you're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the right side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to the toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Bring your Right hip forward to get your two hips in one line, left shoulder forward, Andrew, to open up your chest like a flower petal bloom. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Next is back or bending. Your back's gonna hurt. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath and drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you, arms back immediately. Try your back, back, lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine back or bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale. Stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward toward the mirror. Arms back. Look back. Go back. Way back. More back. Inhale. Bring them up. And stop in the middle. Next is hands to feet pose. Bend your knees. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips several times. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. To make sure your lower back.
is fully relaxed. Right? Please be careful. Your spine may not be warmed up yet. Yep, right and left, right and left, right and left. Grab your heels from behind, underneath the heels, stepping on all five fingers of each hand, little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles, allows the posture. Please don't lose your grip. Pulling your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees from the side. You look like a Japanese ham sandwich, no gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back, try to lock your knees. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over, inside out, bones the skin, cough to the toes with your smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull on the heels, push your knees back, and lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, and lock your knees. Roll forward, and lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face, lock your knees. The last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together. And arms down, side. All right, second set. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index finger, thumbs crossed. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Hands, palms touching each other, light glue up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. Arms and head back, chin up. Concentrate one point in the mirror. Don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, breathing, full lunge. Stretch up out of the waist. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight lines, only bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips more forward, upper body back, more weight in the heels. Bring your left hip forward, Jerome, to get your two hips in one line, right shoulder forward to open up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up. Stop in the middle, elbows locked, arms always touching with the ears, no gap. Between the biceps, arms and ears, inhale, breathing, full up, stretch up out of the waist, try to touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left without bending your elbows or your knees, continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the right side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, Weight in the heels. Bring your right hip forward to get your two hips in one line. Left shoulder forward to open up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Next is back a bit. Take a deep breath and drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from cock to neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine, backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward toward the mirror. Arms back, look back, go back, way back, more back. Good. Inhale, breathing, come up. Beautiful, Maxine. And stop in the middle. Next is hands to feet pose. Bend your knees. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips several times. Right and left. Right and left, right and left, to make sure your lower back is totally relaxed, nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. This is a U-turn from back bend to forward bend, so please be careful. Your spine may not be warmed up yet. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Grab your heels from behind, underneath the heel, stepping on all five fingers of each hand, little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Elbows behind the legs, on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Please don't lose your grip. Pulling your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, you look like a Japanese ham sandwich, no gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back, try to lock your knees. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation. All over, inside out, bones to skin, toxic to the toes with your smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull on the heels, push your knees back, and lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, and lock your knees. Roll forward, and lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face, lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up, nice stroke. Arms and head together, and arms down side. All right, awkward pose. Right foot steps to the right, six inches. Heels invisible behind the toes. Your feet look like a perfect capital letter H. So six inches gap between the toes and the heels. 
Don't change your feet throughout the posture. Arms up parallel to the floor. Keep your five fingers together, touching each other, elbows locked. Tricep muscles nice and tight contraction. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward toward the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathe and suck your stomach again. Sit down, feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight on your heels. Lift your chest up. Bend your total spine back or bending. Bring your upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in. Tighten it up and hold it. Rib cage visible in the mirror. Open your knees. Keep six inches to your toes, heels, knees, and hands. Chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, come up and keep your arms there. Second part, concentrate, meditate, stand up on your toes, max them up like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration. Focus one point in the mirror. If you blink your eye, you might lose your balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head, everything up towards the ceiling. Marina, imagine I'm pulling your hair up towards the ceiling. Sit down on top of your toes. Spine straight position from start to finish. Your hips and head are touching the wall. Sit down halfway so your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, spine straight. Come up higher on the toes, knees up towards the ceiling. Hips do not go below the chair. Hips are sitting on the chair. Inhale, bring the come up and keep your arms there. Third part, come up a little bit on your toes, bring your knees together. Exhale, bring the flex your stomach in and very slowly sit down at least 10 counts. All the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Your hips and head are touching the wall. No gap anywhere. Keep your knees together and forward toward the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor. Arms parallel to the legs. Spine perfectly straight. 90 degree angle from the side. Your body looks like a box. Inhale, breathing. Knees together. Spine straight. Very slowly come up. Feet back to place. Good work. And arms down side. All right. Second set. Right foot steps to the right, six inches. Heels invisible behind the toes. Your feet like a perfect capital letter H. Don't change your feet. Go out the posture. Arms up parallel to the floor. Keep your five fingers together, touching each other. Elbows locked. Tricep muscles nice and tight contraction. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward toward the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathe in, suck your stomach in. Sit down. Feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight on your heels. Lift your chest up. Bend your total spine back or bending. Bring upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in. Tighten it up and hold it. Rib cage visible in the mirror. Open your knees. Keep six inches to your toes, heels, knees and hands. Chest up. Chin up. Lean back. Fall back. Way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Good. Inhale. Breathe. Come up. And keep your arms there. Second part, concentrate, meditate. Stand up on your toes, maximum, like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration. Focus one point in the mirror. If you blink your eyes, you might lose your balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head, everything up towards the ceiling. Imagine, Andrew, I'm pulling your hair up towards the ceiling. Sit down on top of your toes. Spine straight position from start to finish. Your hips and head are touching the wall. Sit down halfway. So your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, spine straight. Come up higher on the toes, knees up towards the ceiling. Hips do not go below the chair. Hips are sitting on the chair. Careful. Inhale, breathe really come up and keep your arms there. Third part, come up a little bit on your toes. Bring your knees together. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in and very slowly sit down. At least 10 counts. All the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Your hips and head are touching the wall. No gap anywhere. Keep your knees together and forward toward the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor. Arms parallel to the legs. Spine perfectly straight. 90 degree angle on the side. Your body looks like a box. Inhale, breathing. Knees together. Spine straight. Very slowly come up. Feet back to place. And arms down side. Okay, nice, Jerome. Feet back to place and arms down tight. What's so beautiful about that? You were going down. That's the definition of a 10 count going down. That was good work. All right, eagle pose. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Look at your arms. Identify which is right, which is left. Don't mix them up. Arms over your head sideways. Bring the right arm underneath the left arm. Cross your arms each other. Twist like ropes. Hands, palms in front of your face. Thumbs towards you. 
baby fingers towards your mirror. If you can't bring your hands on together, you can interlace your fingers, pull your elbows down towards the floor till the fingertips go below the nose. Fingertips should not go higher than your nose. Exhale, breathing, flex your stomach in, sit down. So the hips touch the chair, upper body, leaning back, stay down there. Bring the right leg up over the left leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like rope and bring the right foot behind the left calf muscle, all five toes visible in the front mirror. Sit down more, twist like ropes, arch your body back, no gap anywhere between the ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. So you have the feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If the foot is coming out, sit down more, Lose the balance. Upper body back more. Flex your stomach and pull your elbows down. Upper body back at the end. Change. Good. Arms over your head. Left arm underneath the right arm. Cross the arms each other. Twist like ropes. Hands palms in front of your face. Thumbs towards you. Baby fingers towards the mirror. If you can't bring your hands ones together, you can interlace your fingers. Pull your elbows down towards the floor till the fingertips go below the nose. Fingertips should not go higher than your nose. Exhale, breathe. Flex like your stomach in. Sit down. To the hips, touch the chair. Upper body leaning back. Stay down there. Bring the left leg up over the right leg. Tie as possible. Twist your legs like ropes and bring the left foot behind the right calf muscle. All five toes visible in the front mirror. Sit down more. Twist like ropes. Arch your body back. No gaps anywhere between the ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. You get the feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If the foot is coming out, sit down more. Loosen the balance. Upper body back more. Suck your stomach and pull your elbows down. Upper body back at the end, change. Good, second set, arms over your head, right arm. Underneath the left arm, cross the arms each other, twist like ropes, hands, palms in front of your face, thumbs towards you, baby fingers towards the mirror. Pull the elbows down towards the floor, so the fingertips go below the nose. Exhale, breathe and suck your stomach in, sit down, to the hips, touch the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down there. Bring the right leg up over the left leg, as high as possible. Twist your legs like ropes and bring the right foot Behind the left calf muscle, all five toes visible in the front mirror. Sit down more, twist like ropes, arch your body back, no gap anywhere between the ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left to get the feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If the foot is coming out, sit down more, loosen the balance, upper body back more. Fuck your stomach and pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end, change. Good. Arms over your head, left arm, underneath the right arm. Cross the arms of each other, twist like ropes. Hands, palms in front of your face, thumbs towards you, baby fingers towards the mirror. Pull the elbows down towards the floor. So the fingertips go below the nose. Exhale, breathe, and suck your stomach in. Sit down to the hips, touch the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down there. Bring the left leg up over the right leg. Tie as possible, twist your legs like ropes and bring the left foot behind the right calf muscle. All five toes visible in the front mirror. Sit down more, twist like ropes. Arch everybody back, no gaps anywhere. Between the ankle and calf muscle, bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, to get the feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If the foot is coming out, sit down more, lose the balance, upper body back more, suck your stomach in, pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end, change. Good. Arms over your head, arms down side, and it is party time. All right, guys, this is our official water break, but of course, you know you can drink water whenever you need to during class. I hope you guys are staying well hydrated. It's so important, particularly if you're not in the hot room. Maybe you're not thinking about drinking all the water that you should be, right? But please keep up with your drinking water. All right. Before you even start, you have to make up your mind to make sure that your standing knee is locked. That's your 1% of the posture, so you get 100% benefit, okay? Standing head to knee pose, toes and heels together, touching each other. Shift your weight to your left leg, wipe your hands, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right foot in front of you, three inches below the toes, hold it, nice and tight grip, don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror, focus on your left knee. Your left leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken, no knee. Inhale, breathe this hold gently, right leg lifts up, and stretch forward toward the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Your left knee is locked. Take a deep breath and continuously look at your right heel forward toward the mirror. Turn the toes toward you. If the standing leg is bending, the posture has not started yet. Take the heel out. Turn the toes in. Try to get both knees locked. So from the side, your legs look like a perfect upside down L like Linda. If both knees are locked and still you can balance there, then the elbows down towards the floor until the elbows are touching the calf muscle. Eventually, they'll go. Below the calf muscle, change. 
toes and heels together, touching each other. Shift your weight to your right leg. Wipe your hands. Interlock your 10 fingers. Grab your left foot in front of you, three inches below the toes. Hold it. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror. Focus on your right knee. Your right leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, a lamppost, unbroken, no knee. Inhale, breathing so much on the left leg. Lift up and stretch forward toward the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Your right knee is locked. Take a deep breath and continuously kick your left heel forward toward the mirror. Turn the toes toward you. The standing leg is bending. The posture has not started yet. Kick the heel out. Turn the toes in. Try to get both knees locked. So from the side, your legs whoop like a perfect upside down L like Linda. If both knees are locked and still you can balance there. And the elbows down towards the floor until the elbows are touching the calf muscle. Eventually, they'll go below the calf muscle. Change. Okay, good. Hands on the hips. Nice, Maxine. Hands on the hips. Quick. One second. Back bend. All right, second set. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Shift your weight to your left leg. Wipe your hands. Interlock your ten fingers. Grab your right foot in front of you, three inches below the toes. Hold it. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror, focus on your left knee. Your left leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, slam post, unbroken, no knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently right leg lifts up and stretch forward toward the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Your left knee is locked. Take a deep breath and continuously kick your right heel forward toward the mirror. Turn the toes toward you. The standing leg is bending. The posture has not started yet. Kick the heel out. Turn the toes in. Try to get both knees locked. So from the side, your legs look like a perfect upside down L like Linda. If both knees are locked and still you can balance there, bend the elbows down towards the floor until the elbows are touching the calf muscle. Eventually, they'll go below the calf muscle, body down, chest down, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your forehead to your knee. Change. Nice, Maxine. Good. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Shift your weight to your right leg. Wipe your hands. Interlock your ten fingers. Grab your left foot in front of you, three inches below the toes. Hold it. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror. Focus on your right knee. Your right leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, slam post, unbroken, no knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Left leg lifts up and stretch forward toward the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Your right knee is locked. Take a deep breath and continue as we kick your left heel forward toward the mirror. Turn the toes toward you. The standing leg is bending. The posture has not started yet. Kick the heel out. Turn the toes in. Try to get both knees locked. So from the side, your legs look like a perfect upside down L like Linda. If both knees are locked and so you can balance there, bend the elbows down towards the floor until the elbows are touching the calf muscle. Eventually, they'll go below the calf muscle, body down, chest down, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your forehead to your knee change. All right, hands on the hips. Quick. One second, back bend. This is a good reset. Okay. Standing bow pulling pose. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Right arm up in front of you. Elbow touching the body. Palm facing up. Say, mama, give me money. All right, just put some money in your hand. Bring your hand to the right. Don't turn your hand. Don't drop your money. Grab your right foot from behind. Inside of the ankle, palm facing up. Good. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Left arm up in front of you. Chin close to the shoulder. Lift your left knee to make sure it's locked throughout the posture. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, and charge your body forward toward the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until the abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously so keep kicking your right leg up. It's hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. In other words, from the side, your two feet are in one line. Kick back more so the right shoulders behind the left shoulder. The two shoulders are in one line. Stretch forward more. Try to touch them your chin, touch the shoulder. Scapula coming out of the body. Kicking and stretching should be equal. Simultaneous 50-50. If you're losing the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more. Kick back more. Kick harder. The harder you kick, you can bounce forever. Body down. Kick up one more time. Change and come up. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Left arm up in front of you. Elbow touching the body, palm facing up. Bring your hand to left. Don't turn your hand. Don't drop your money. Grab your left foot from behind. Inside of the ankle, palm facing up. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Right arm up in front of you. Chin close to the shoulder. Look at your right knee to make sure it's locked throughout the posture. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, and charge your body forward toward the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Simultaneously, look at your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until the abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your left leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up 
over the top of your head in the mirror. In other words, from the side, your two feet are on one line. Kick back more from the left shoulders behind the right shoulder. The two shoulders are on one line. Stretch forward more and try to touch the mirror. Chin touch in the shoulder, scapula coming out of the body. Kicking and stretching should be equal. Simultaneous, 50-50 for losing the balance. You're not kicking hard enough. Body down more. Kick back more. Kick harder. The harder you kick, you can bounce forever. Body down. Good. And kick up one more time. Okay. Change and come up. All right. So second set, I want you to really think about the fact that your standing knee is straight. Your standing knee is locked. Okay. So don't let that standing knee bend. That's a totally different posture. Okay. Standing knee is straight and locked. Second set. Toes and heels together, touching each other, right arm up in front of you, elbow touching the body, palm facing up, bring your hand to the right, grab your right foot from behind, inside of the ankle, palm facing up, nice and tight grip, don't lose the grip, left arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder, look at your left knee, to make sure it's locked throughout the posture, bring your knees together to start, inhale, breathing, and charge your body forward toward the mirror, you're trying to touch the mirror simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling, bring your body down from the lower spine until the abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continue to keep kicking your right leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. In other words, from the side, your two feet are in one line. Kick back more so the right shoulder's behind the left shoulder. The two shoulders are in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal. Simultaneous 50-50. If you're losing the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more, kick back more, kick harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down and kick up one more Beautiful. Change and come up. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Left arm up in front of you. Elbow touching the body, palm facing up. Bring your hand to the left. Grab your left foot from behind. Inside of the ankle, palm facing up. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Right arm up in front of you. Chin close to the shoulder. Look at your right knee to make sure it's locked throughout the posture. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, and charge your body forward toward the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror simultaneously. Get your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until the abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continue to keep kicking your left leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. In other words, from the side, two feet are in one line. Kick back more to the left shoulders behind the right shoulder. The two shoulders are in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal. Simultaneous 50-50 if you're losing the balance. You're not kicking hard enough. Body down more. Kick back more. Kick harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down and kick up one more time. Okay. Nice to roll. Change and come up. All right. Balancing stick. This posture is only 10 seconds. The moment you hear my clap, you step forward. You have to make up your mind to use 100% of your strength in half a second. If you're late, it's over. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head, sideways. Palms together, interlock the fingers. Release the index from the thumb scroll. Stretch your arms to the ceiling. The elbows locked for the arms. So with the ears, chin up, body back a couple of inches. Inhale, breathing, right leg. Step forward, big step. Lock both knees, come down. Bring your body down until your arms, body, head, legs, everything is parallel to the floor from the side like the T as in Tom, not the broken umbrella. Chin forward, focusing on the right foot of the mirror. Arms and legs stretching, opposite direction, natural human traction. Body down, leg up, knee lock, point it off, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good work, Maxine. All right, feet back to place. Chin up. Body back a couple of inches. Inhale, breathing, left leg, steps forward, big step. Lock both knees, come down, bring your body down until your arms, body, head, legs, everything is parallel to the floor. From the side, just like the T as in Tom, not the broken umbrella. Chin forward, both in the left foot of the mirror. Arms and legs stretching, opposite direction, natural human traction. Body down, leg up, knee lock, point of toe, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change. Good. Come up. Feet back to place. And arms down side. So we say you're giving yourself a heart attack. In this posture, all that blood flowing into the lower chambers of the heart so that you don't have a heart attack outside of the room, all right? So this posture should be very challenging, very hard. You're pulling. Remember, don't forget that natural human traction from your toes to your fingertips. All right, second set. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head, sideways. Palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index fingers. Thumbs cross. Get your arms to the Get the elbows off. So the arms with you. Shut up. Body back. A couple of inches. Inhale, breathing. Right leg. Steps forward. Big step. Lock both knees, come down, bring your body down until arms, body, head, legs, everything is parallel to the floor. Chin forward, focusing on the right foot of the arms and legs, stretching, opposite direction, natural human traction. Body down, leg up, knee lock, point of stretch, stretch, stretch. 
Good. Three back to play. Chin up. Body back, couple of inches. Inhale, breathing. Left leg. Steps forward, big step. Lock both knees. Come down. Bring your body down to your arms, body, head, legs. Everything is parallel to the floor. Chin forward. Focusing on the left foot of the mirror. Arms and legs stretching. Opposite direction. Natural human traction. Body down. Leg up. Knee lock. Point it out. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. Nice work. Feet back to play. And arms down side. All right. Good work. Standing separate leg. Stretching both. Now remember, so important, your legs are straight, your knees are locked in this posture. Don't let your knees bend. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head, sideways. Right leg steps, right four feet. Bring the arms down parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line. Feet slightly pigeon toed. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Chin forward, looking to make sure you go down. Make sure your knees are locked. Grab your heels from the outside. Five fingers together, thumbs touching with the index finger. As a beginner, if you can't grab your heels yet, grab the outside of your feet, pulling your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. So your stomach on the way up, pulling your heels as hard as for sure. Legs are stretching, then your hips are stretching, your lower spine is stretching, then your whole spine is stretching. 360 degree stretching, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead. Chin forward, roll forward, keep pulling. Touch your forehead to the floor. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Okay. Feet back to place, and arms down side. Okay, so second set, recommit, straight legs, no bended knees, so that this stretches and that stretches, all that stretching happens only when the legs are straight. Second set, toes and heels together, touching each other, arms over your head, sideways, right up, steps to the right, four feet, and immediately arms down parallel to the floor, two heels in one line. Feet slightly pigeon toed. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Chin forward, looking in the mirror as you go down. Make sure your knees are locked. Grab your heels from the outside. Five fingers together. Thumbs touching with the index finger. As you if you can't grab your heels, grab the outside of your feet. Make sure your knees are locked throughout the posture. Roll forward like a wheel, body weight in your toes. Try to touch your forward to the floor. If you're unable to touch your forward to the floor, open your legs more and more and more. Chin forward, roll forward, keep pulling. Eventually, your spine will be perfectly straight, coccyx to the neck, forehead touching the floor between the feet. First, your legs are stretching, then your hips are stretching, then your lower spine is stretching, then your whole spine is stretching. 360 degrees stretching, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead. Chin forward, roll forward, keep pulling. Touch your forehead to the floor. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Nice work. Feet back to place. And arms down side. All right, triangle pose. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head, sideways. Right leg steps, right four feet. Immediately arms down, parallel to the floor. Hips forward, body back. Turn your right foot out all the way. Turn it a half inch more until it's parallel to the front. Your two heels are in one line. Inhale, breathing. Bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride to make sure you're getting down low enough. You want the right side bicep to be parallel to the floor. Notice the right leg is like perfectly upside down. L, like Linda. Now stay down there. Again, hips forward, arms back, body back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing. Move your both arms at the same time. Bring the right elbow in front of the right knee. Fingertips go between the first and second toe. No weight or pressure in your fingertips. Left arm, stretch up towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Take your chin to the shoulder. So the profile of the face is visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath. Left arm stretch up. Right arm stretch down. Both arms are stretching in opposite direction like natural human traction. Push your left hip forward toward the mirror. Push the right knee back with the help of the elbow. Touch the toes. Turn it. Stretch everybody back like spines. Let's see both feet. The left knee long. Left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out all the way. Turn to the half inch more until it's parallel to the front mirror. Your two heels are in one line. Inhale, breathing. Bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride to make sure you're getting down low enough. You want the left side bicep to be parallel to the floor. In other words, the left leg. So it's like a perfect upside down L like Linda. Now stay down there. Again, hips forward, arms back, body back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing. Move your both arms at the same time. Bring the left elbow in front of the left knee. Fingertips go between the first and second toe. No weight or pressure on your fingertips. Right arm, stretch up towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Tuck your chin to the shoulder. So the profile of the face is visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath. Right arm, stretch up. Left arm, stretch down. Both arms are stretching in opposite direction like natural human traction. Push your right hip forward towards the mirror. Push the left knee back with the help of the elbow. Touch the toes. Turn or twist your body back like spine twisting pose. Keep the right knee locked. Right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Come up. 
Feet back to place, arms over your head, and arms down side. Okay, good work. Second set. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head sideways. Right leg steps, right four feet. Really arms down parallel to the floor. Hips forward, body back. Turn your right foot out all the way. Turn it a half inch more until it's parallel to the front mirror. Your two heels are in one line. Inhale, breathing, bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times, like a motorcycle ride to make sure you're getting down low enough. You want the right side bicep to be parallel to the floor. Now stay down there. Again, hips forward, arms back, body back, spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing, move your both arms at the same time. Bring the right elbow in front of the right knee. Fingertips go between the first and second toe. No way to press on your fingertips. Left arm, stretch up towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Take your chin to the shoulder so the profile of your face is visible in the front of your left arm. Stretch up, right arm, stretch down. Both arms are stretching in opposite direction like natural human traction. Push your left hip forward toward the mirror. Push the right knee back with the help of the elbow. Touch the toes. Turn and push everybody back like spine twisting pose. Keep the left knee locked. Left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Nice room. Feet back. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out all the way. Turn it a half inch more until it's parallel up the front ear. Your two heels are in one line. Inhale, breathing. Bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride to make sure you're just sitting down low enough. Hips forward, body back. All right, move your both arms at the same time. Bring the left elbow in front of the left knee. Fingertips go between the first and second toe. No way to pressure your fingertips. Right arm, stretch up towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Like a chin to the shoulder. The profile of your face is visible in the front mirror. Right arm, stretch up. Left arm, stretch down. Both arms are stretching in opposite direction like natural human traction. Push your right hip forward toward the mirror. Push the left knee back with the help of the elbow. Touch the toes. Turn or twist everybody back. Like spine twisting pose. Keep the right knee locked. Right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, bring knee come up. Nice, Maxine. Feet back to place, arms over your head, and arms down side. Yeah, good work. That's a little extra at the end. All right. Standing separate legs, head to knee pose. Remember, this is a compression posture. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head, sideways, palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms to sending. Get the elbows locked so the arms are with you. Chin up. Body back, chin up, right leg steps to right, three feet, 36 inches. Turn to the right, 180 degree angle. Turn your hips, one, two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility to get your two hips exactly in one line from the side, two heels in one line, back side foot, 45 degree angle, left club breathing, and you go down, arms and head together. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. If the forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee. Your forehead should touch the knees. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Push your hands against the floor to try to get the knee locked. Throat choked. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Bring maximum weight to your front. Like to get your left hip up towards the ceiling and get your two hips in one line. Lock the knee very quick. A couple of times. Inhale. Breathing. Come up. Arms and head together. Turn to the front of the room. Turn to the left side of the room. 185 during. I'll turn your hips. One. Two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility to get your two hips exactly one line from the side, two heels to one line, back side foot, 45 degree angle, exhale breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Touch your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee. If the forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee. Your forehead should touch the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Push your hands against the floor to try to get the knee locked. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal, bring maximum weight to your front leg to get your right hip up to the ceiling, get your two hips in one line, lock the knee, very quick, a couple of times, inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together, nice, turn to the front of the room, feet back to place, and arms down side, okay, second set. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head, sides. Palms together, only cross your thumb. Stretch your arms to the to get the elbows locked so the arms are with you. Chin up, right leg steps to right, three feet, 36 inches. Turn to the right, 180 degree angle. Turn your hips five times to get your two hips exactly in one line from the side. Two heels in one line, back side foot, 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee. If the forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee. Your forehead should touch the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. 
push your hands against the floor to try to get the knee locked. Throat choked, eyes open, breathe in normal, bring maximum weight to your front leg to get your left hip up towards the ceiling, get your two hips in one line, lock the knee, very quick, a couple of times, inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together, turn to the front of the room, turn to the left side of the room, 185 during, now turn your hips five times to get your two hips exactly in one line from the side, two heels in one line, back side foot, 45 degree, like sub breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to the knee. If the forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee, your forehead should touch the knee. This is a compression posture. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Push your hands against the floor to try to get the knee locked. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Bring maximum weight to your front leg to get your right hip up towards the ceiling and get your two hips in one line. Lock the knee very quick, a couple of times. Inhale, bring knee, come up. Arms and head together. Turn to the front of the room. Deep back to place. Good. And arms down to All right, come back to the center of your towel where you began for tree pose. To focus on yourself in the mirror, grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand, lift your right leg up all the way to the heel. Touch the costume, sole the foot facing the ceiling. Be very careful with your right knee. Slowly, gently, let your right knee come down. Push your hips forward toward the mirror. Very carefully push your right knee back. Two knees in one line from the side. Stretch your spine out towards the ceiling. Body back a couple of inches. Two hips in one line. Two shoulders in one line. Bring the right hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance there, bring the left hand up to the center of your chest. Namaskar. The foot flip. You can continue to hold the foot. Stretch your spine up. Knee locked. Thigh contracted. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Stay there. Good. Change. Right leg down. Again, focus on yourself in the mirror. Grab your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Lift your left leg up all the way until the heel touches the costume. Pull the foot facing the ceiling. Be very careful with your left knee. Slowly, gently let your left knee come down. Push your hips forward a little bit toward the mirror very carefully. Push the left knee back. Two knees in one line from the side. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Body back a couple of inches. Two hips on the line. Two shoulders in one line. Bring the left hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance there, bring the right hand up to the center of your chest. And on the scarf, the foot slips. You can continue to hold the foot. Stretch your spine up. Knee locked. Thigh contracted. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Stay there. Change. Okay. Nice work, everybody. Now, is there anything going on with your back or your neck? You can do another set of tree pose, which is the posture we just did. Just do second set of tree pose. All right? Otherwise, let's do toe stand. Focus on the four, four feet in front of you. Don't move your eyes. Don't blink your eyes. Grab your right foot on your left thigh, wherever it's comfortable. Bring your hands to get the center of your chest. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Your hands, ten fingers, touch the floor. Sit down until your hips touch the heel. Bring your hands to either side and balance on your fingertips. Two knees in one line, parallel to the floor. Stretch your spine up. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance there without moving, bring the right hand up to the center of your chest. Stretch your spine up like natural human traction. Change. Come up the opposite way that you went down. Okay. Again, focus on the floor, four feet in front of you. Don't move or blink your eyes. Grab your left foot, put it on your right thigh, wherever it's comfortable. Bring your hands together to the center of your chest. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Your hands, ten fingers, touch the floor. Sit down until your hips touch the heel. Bring your hands to either side and balance on your fingertips. Two knees in one line, parallel to the floor. Stretch your spine up. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance there, bring the right hand up to the center of your chest. Stretch your spine up like natural human traction. Change. All right, good work. Come up the opposite way that you went down. All right, everybody, excellent work. Turn around and relax on your back in dead body pose.
Nice work. As you know, that was our warm-up. Now the real yoga begins on the floor. Yeah, if you could bring your camera down, Maxine, that would be great. Here I am bringing my camera down. You guys are not going to be looking at my feet. No, no. <laughs> I, was, I was just saying, I'm bringing my camera down like you guys are, but I'm thinking you guys aren't looking at my feet. All right. I don't have to keep my feet and heels together in Cobra Pose. You do. All right. So turn around. All right. And relax on your back. Let's make the most of your dead body pose. One of the beautiful things that you're learning in Bikram Yoga is how to relax on command and how to relax in a stressful situation, right? Think back to when you were in the yoga room, Jerome and Maxine, and of course, I know Andrew and Maureen, you are in the yoga room. Janelle, I assume you're at home. And, you know, it's a stressful situation being in that room, in that heat, around other people, in your yoga costume. That's what Bikram calls it, a costume, right? And it's stressful, and you're learning how to relax in that situation, and you're learning how to relax on command, which is a beautiful skill because you take that with you outside of the yoga room, too. Hopefully, even in stressful situations in your larger life, you're able to settle yourself a lot more easily because you've been practicing it for 90 minutes a day in the hot room. All right, so bring that same ability that you've mastered here. Maybe you're going to get a blood test or something like that. You say, relax, relax, just let my body go and relax. So it's a wonderful skill that you're building up here. And then, too, I feel like we're slaying the ego a bit when we practice Bikram yoga, right? Right? Because you're like, well, maybe this is more me, but I'm like, oh, I wish I was like that. I wish I was like that. I wish I had that body. I wish I had that body, right? And then over time, you stop thinking those things, and you start to accept yourself more. You start to celebrate and accept yourself more. You start to think about what your strengths are in the hot room and not focus on anybody else's, right? So over time, the ego starts to quiet down, right? And you just focus on taking care of of yourself. It's hard in the beginning to come into the hot room with other people wearing very little clothes. You know, that's that's a tough thing to do. That takes a lot of courage. But you've done it. And of course I know you've been benefited from doing it. All right, then removing pose. Right leg lifts up. Hold the right leg. Two inches below the knee. Ten finger in a lock grip. Pull the right knee down all the way to the right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Your left leg is straight. So the calf muscles touch the floor. If the calf muscles not touch the floor, flex your left foot, chin down towards your chest, neck flat on the floor, no gap underneath your neck, elbows close to the body, shoulders relaxed, touch the floor, eyes open, breathe a normal freeze there. You have to pull down like your heart to make sure your right hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change right leg down. Immediately left leg lifts up. Hold the left leg two inches below the knee, 10 finger interlock grip, pull the left knee down all the way to the left shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Your right leg is straight. So the calf muscles touch on the floor. If the calf muscles not touch the floor, flex your right foot, chin down towards your chest, neck flat on the floor, no gap underneath your neck, elbows close to the body, shoulders relaxed, touch the floor, eyes open, breathe in normal freeze there. You have to pull down extra hard to make sure your left hip joint hurts, maximum pressure in the lower abdomen change. Left leg down and immediately both legs lift up. Grab your elbows to each other. Bring your arms over your knees, a couple of inches below your knees, nice and tight grip, compact. Feet together, side by side, relaxed position. Chin down under your chest. Shoulders relaxed, touch the floor. Eyes open, breathe in normal, freeze there. Eventually in the future, when your skeletal system has improved, your total spine will be flat on the floor. Change. All right, arms and legs down. And relax on your back in dead body pose. Heels together. Feet fall open. Arms in the towel. Your palms are facing up. Your eyes are open, and your breathing is normal. That's just in through the nose, out through the nose, and relax. Mouth is closed. Second set. Right leg lifts up. Hold the right leg two inches below the knee. Ten finger interlock grip. Hold the right knee down all the way to the right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Your left leg is straight. 
So the calf muscles touch the foot. The calf muscles not touch the foot. Flex your left foot. Chin down towards your chest. Neck flat on the floor. No gap underneath your neck. Elbows close to the body. Shoulders relax. Touch the floor. Eyes open. Breathe the normal crease there. You have to pull down and lift your heart to make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change your right leg down. And immediately left leg. Lift up. Hold the left leg. Two inches below the knee. Ten finger interlock grip. Pull the left knee down all the way to the left shoulder. Completely avoiding the ribcage. Your right leg is straight. So the calf muscles touch the floor. If the calf muscles not touch the floor, flex your right foot. Chin down towards your chest. Neck flat on the floor. No gap underneath your neck. Elbows close to the body. Shoulders relax. Touch the eyes open. Breathe in normal. Freeze there. You have to pull down a extra hard to make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change. Your left leg down and immediately both legs. Lift up. Grab your elbows to each other. Bring your arms over your knees. A couple of inches below your knees. Nice and tight grip. Compact. Feet together, side by side, relax position. Chin down towards your chest, shoulders relax, touch the floor, eyes open, breathe in normal, freeze it. Eventually in the future, when your skeletal system has improved, your total spine will be flat on the floor. Good. Change arms and legs down. Boom. Let those legs go down. Yep. And relax on the back in dead body pose. So you were compressing your legs, right? And then you release your legs, immediately put them down at high speed blood, flowing into your legs, making your legs, your feet, and your toes healthier, right? Improving the circulation in your lower limbs. So when you're 90, you have good circulation. You can dance with your great, great, great grandchildren. Your legs will still work. All right, first set of the day. If there's anything going on with your back or your neck, you can roll over. We do the sit-ups. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Heels on the floor. Arms over your head. Cross your thumbs. Inhale, breathing. Quickly, sit up. Exhale, breathing. Grab your big toes. Double jerk. Forehead to the knees. Elbows to the floor. Turn around and lie down on your stomach. For the spine strengthening series, cobra poses first. Chin on the top. Excuse me. Get your hands underneath your shoulders. Very close to your chest. Your five fingers are together. Your hands, arms are flat on the floor. Tops of fingers, lines the tops of the shoulders. Baby fingers, and lines the deltoids. So glue it down. Distribute the body weight all over the hands, palms equally. Same. Don't move your hands. So start to finish. Legs and feet are together. Feet are flat on the floor. You have one leg, like a cobra. Don't open it. Leg muscles nice and tight. Hip muscles solid, concrete one piece. Elbows close to the body. Drop your shoulders down. Inhale, breathing. Come up, please. Lift your upper body up. Using 100% back strength, come up halfway only. Only your belly button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is in the air from the side. Your arms look like an out. 90 degree angle. Stretch your elbows down, stretch your hips. Arms elbows close to the body. Shoulders down, trapezius muscle visible in the front of your mouth. Chest up, remedy. Come up a couple of inches. Your back is supposed to hurt. Shoulders down, chest up. Look up. Hold it there. Freeze. Gently lower down. Nice. And look to the right and relax. Good. Toes together, heels fall open, relax your leg. Arms in the towel, palms facing up. Eyes are open, the breathing is normal. So second set, I want you to really think about making sure your feet and heels are together in this posture, okay? It's very important. So get them together in the setup so that when you all go into the posture, they're at least there, right? You've got to be locked and loaded before you go into the posture. And what that means is your setup is doop, doop, doop. You've done every step of the setup and you're ready to go for the posture because if you try to get your feet together when you're in the posture, it's too late. So get them together in the setup. Second set. Turn the towel. Get your hands underneath your shoulders, very close to your chest. Your five fingers are together, so your hand palms are flat on the floor. Tops the fingers and lines the tops of the shoulders. Baby fingers and lines the deltoids. Glue it down. Distribute the body weight. All over the hands, palms equally safe. Don't move your hands. Just start to finish. Legs and feet are together. Feet are flat on the floor. You have one leg like a cobra. Don't open it. Leg muscles nice and tight. Hip muscles solid. Concrete one piece. Elbows close to the body. Drop your shoulders down. Inhale, breathing. Come up, please. Lift your body up. Using 100% back strength. Come up halfway only. Only your belly button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is in the air. From the side, your arms look like an L. 90 degree angle. Shift your elbows down. Shift your Arms elbows close to the body, shoulders down, trapezius muscle visible in the front of your nose, chest up, Marini, come up, couple minutes, your back is toward, shoulders down, chest up, look up, hold it there, freeze. Gently lower down. Good. Look to the left. And relax. Good work. Good work. Look to the left and let it go. So in these spine strengthening postures, you're working different parts of your spine. And then in that last posture that we'll do, the bow pose, she'll be working the whole spine. All right, eyes open, breathing normal. Good. 
locust pose. Arms straight position, get your arms underneath your body, elbows underneath your stomach invisible, hands, palms, your face to the floor, little baby fingers, touching each other side by side, chin the towel, separate the fingers, grab the forward of the fingertips, your left leg is relaxed, right leg, solid, concrete, one piece pointed toe. Inhale, breathe the pillage on the right leg, lift up, minimum 45 to bring a half of 90, come up hard, ready, back should hurt, elbows should knee lock, pointed toe, more up, gently lower down, right leg relaxed. Left leg, solid, concrete, one piece, pointed toe. Inhale, bring this hold gently. Left leg, lifts up, minimum 45 degree angle, half of 90. Come up higher, bring it back to her. Elbows are knee locked, pointed toe, more up. Gently lower down. Head in, mouth in the towel. Readjust your hand palms. Elbows close together underneath the body. Your legs and feet are together. Without bending your knees, both legs. Lift up, come up. Go up, more up, struggle a little harder, everybody. Back should hurt, elbows should knee lock, point of toe, more up, gently lower down. Okay, move to the right, arms off from underneath your body, blood flowing back into your arms, and relax, looking to the right side of the room. All right, eyes are open, breathing normal. So remember, when you lift those legs, right, so important, the height, is secondary to having the good form, okay? Which means your knee is locked, your leg is straight, your knee is locked, and don't forget about the foot. Your toe is pointed. That's such an important part. You don't want energy going all the way through your leg in this posture, all the way to your toes. Oh, creaky chair. Second set. Arms straight position. Get your arms underneath your body, elbows underneath your stomach, invisible. Hands, palms, are facing the floor. Little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Turn the towel, separate the fingers. Grab the floor with the fingertips. Your left leg is relaxed. Right leg, solid, concrete, one piece, pointed toe. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Right leg, lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lock your knee, point your toe more up. Beautiful, Jerome. Gently, right leg down. Left leg, solid. Concrete, one piece, point of toe. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Left leg, lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lock your knee, point your toe, more up. Gently lower down. Okay. Head in, mouth in the towel. Readjust your hands, palms. Elbows close together underneath the body. Your legs and feet are together without bending your knees. Both legs lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, lock your knee, point your toes more up, gently lower down. Okay, good. Look to the left and relax. Good. Arms off, money to the body. So you notice how in the beginning, remember those, in those steps, elbows underneath the stomach, invisible. You're like invisible. Yeah, like if I were flying over top of you, I wouldn't be able to see your elbows. That's what he means by invisible on my broom. Full locust pose. Arms out to the side like airplane. Wings, palms down, fingers together, chin on the floor. Legs and feet together. Hip and leg muscles tight, solid, concrete one piece, knees locked, pointed toes. Make sure you have only one leg. Take a deep breath. Look up towards the ceiling. And arms, body, head, legs, everything lift up. 747 taking off. Everybody look up. Arms up. Arms back. Fingertips same love the head over the hip bones. Just touch the floor. The rest of the body is in the air. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Exhale. Breathing. Come up one more time. Good. Gently lower down. Look to the right. And relax. Good. Arms down by your side. And relax. Second set. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms down, fingers together, chin on the floor. Legs and feet together. Hip and leg muscles tight. Solid, concrete, one piece, knees, soft, pointed toes. Make sure you have only one leg. Take a deep breath. Look up towards the ceiling. And arms, body, head, legs, everything lift up. 747 taking off. Everybody look up, arms up, arms back. Fingertips, same love the head, only the hip bones are touching the floor. The rest of the body's in the air. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Exhale, breathing. Come up one more time. Good. Gently lower down. Good work, everybody. Look to the left. And relax. Good. Toes are together. Heels are falling open. Your eyes are open. Your breathing is normal. Good work. 
Now, in this next posture, remember, first thing coming up is the kick up. So your chin will be still on the towel. And the first thing you do is the kick up and then the look up. Bow pose, chin in the towel, hold your view from the outside, two inches below the toes, five fingers together, thumbs touching with the index finger, six inches between the knees and the feet, wrist straight pointed toes, your arms and legs should look like two wheels in one base. Take a deep breath and very gently, both legs kick up towards the ceiling, look up and kick up, kick your legs back, continuously keep kicking, don't stop kicking, roll forward until your toes are in the center from the side, kick back more harder, head up more, kick your legs behind you, wrist straight more, knees in, pointed toes, kick back more, Kick harder, gently lower down. Nice, nice. Look to the right and relax. Toes together, heels fall open, your eyes are open, your breathing is normal. Second set, chin the down, hold your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, five fingers together, thumb. Touching with the index finger, six inches between the knees and the feet, wrist straight, point and toes, your arms and legs should look like two wheels in one base. Take a deep breath and very gently, both legs kick up towards the ceiling, look up and kick up, kick your legs back, continuously keep kicking, don't stop kicking, roll forward so your toes are in the center from the side, kick back more harder, head up more, kick your legs behind your wrist straight more, knees in, point and toes, kick back more, kick harder, gently lower down, nice. Look to the left. And relax. Toes together, heels fall open, eyes open, breathing is normal. So one of the things that Vikram says is, you know, it doesn't make any difference if you have something, if you don't know how to use what you've got. All of you have beautiful bodies, and what you're learning how to do here in Bikram Yoga is to use your beautiful body and make the most of your beautiful body and keep your beautiful body tuned up and ready to go, ready for anything, right? That's what you're doing. You're learning how to use your body here in this class. And it's making you healthier 90 minutes at a time. All right, push yourselves up. Come to the top of the towel for fixed firm pose. So step by step, remember, A, B, C, D, you got to get all the steps of the setup in. So Japanese style, knees and feet together. Then it's knees together. Separate the feet. Sit down between the heels, hips touching the floor, heels touching the hips. As a beginner or to your feet hurt, you can open your knees. Get your hands on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. First your right elbow touches the floor, then your left elbow touches the floor. Your head should touch the floor, then the back of your head touches the floor. Whole upper body, relax on the floor. Bring your arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other over your head. Pull your elbows down towards the floor, chin down towards your chest. Lift your chest and stomach up, creating a perfect joint bridge. Eventually, you'll be able to bring your knees together, but make sure your knees never come off the floor. Put the hands on the feet. With the help of the elbow, slowly, carefully come up. Okay, turn around. Nice work. And relax on your back in dead body pose. Good work. Heels together, feet fall open, eyes open, breathing normal. So if you can't go back in that posture yet, okay, no big deal. The only thing you have to do in Bikram Yoga is try the right way and do 1% of the posture. So you go step by step, that's trying the right way. And then when you can't go any further, you stay there and you're still getting 100% benefit, right? So your posture doesn't have to look like the postures in Bikram's book in order to be getting 100% benefit from Bikram Yoga. Isn't that wonderful? That was really important to me because I have a very stiff, inflexible body and a short spine and really long legs. And so I don't do the postures the way everybody else does. I just do the best I can and I get 100% benefit. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Heels to the floor. Arms over your head. Cross your thumbs. Inhale, breathing. Quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing. Grab the big toes. Double jerk towards the knees. Elbows to the floor. Second side. Turn around. Sit down. Japanese style. That's knees and feet together. Then it's knees together. Separate the feet. Sit down between the heels. Hips touching the floor. Heels, touch the hips. As a beginner, your knees to be hurt, you can open your knees. Get your hands up on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. First, your right elbow touches the floor, then your left elbow touches the floor. Your head should touch the floor, then the back of your head touches the floor. Hold up your body, relax on the floor. Bring your arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other over your head. Pull your elbows down towards the floor, chin down towards your chest. Lift your chest and stomach up, creating a perfect human bridge. Eventually, you'll be able to bring your knees together. 
but make sure your knees never come off the floor. Good. Put the hands on the feet. With the help of the elbows, slowly. Yeah. Carefully come up. Turn around and relax on your back in dead body pose. Yeah, really nice work, Jerome. All right, eyes open, breathing, normal. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, and now breathing. Great, let's sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab the big toes, double jerk forward to the knees. Elbows to the floor. All right, half tortoise pose. Turn around, sit down, Japanese style. Knit on position. Be flat on the floor. No gap underneath your ankles. Hips touching the heels throughout the posture. Arms over your head sideways. Palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms to the ceiling. Get the elbows locked. The arms with ears. That could be the you know, Forehead touching the floor. Little baby fingers touching the floor. The rest of the arms are in the air. The elbows are locked. Stretch your arms forward. Make sure your shoulders hurt. Scapula coming out of the body. Chin away from the chest. Stretch forward more, chin forward, heels touching the hips, eyes open, breathing, normal. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together. And arms down side. All right, nice work. Turn around and relax on your back. So we have to, this is an interesting thing about this posture. As you're going down in this posture, your spine is relaxed. Isn't that interesting? So your arms are not relaxed, right? Because you're keeping your arms with your ears, stretching up but your spine is relaxed. That'll help you keep the hips on the heels throughout the posture. And then little baby fingers touching the floor. That implies that the first thing coming down are the little baby fingers, right? That's the first thing that hits the floor. And then remember, you're stretching forward, shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body because you're stretching forward to the mirror like you were in balancing stick. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Heels on the floor. Arms over your head. Cross your thumbs. Inhale, breathing. Quick, lift it up. Exhale, breathing. Grab the big toes. Double jerk forward to the knees. Elbows to the floor. Turn around and sit down. Japanese style. In that position, feet fly on the floor. No gap underneath your ankle. Hips touch the heel throughout the posture. Arms over your head sideways. Palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms still to get the elbows locked. So the arms with ears. Exhale, breathing in. You go down. Forehead touch the floor. Little baby fingers touching the floor. The rest of the arms are in the air. The elbows are locked. Stretch your arms forward. Make sure your shoulders hurt. Scapula coming, around, coming out of the body. Chin forward. Reach forward. Try to touch the mirror. Good. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together. Nice work. And arms down side. Good work. Turn around and relax on your back in dead body pose. So we'll see. Think about it this way. If you bent your elbows in that posture, you weren't getting your shoulders ready for the deepest back bend of the class, which is coming up. Of course, remember, because shoulder blade scapula is coming out of the body. You bend your elbows. No shoulder blade scapula is coming out of the body. So that's why the arms are straight. And you're stretching forward in that posture. And now your shoulders are ready for deepest back bend of the class, which is coming up next. All right, each posture is preparing you for the next posture. And all the postures you've done up till now, preparing you for this moment. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head. Cross your thumbs and have breathing. Quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing. Grab the big toes. Double jerk forward to the knees. Elbows to the floor. All right. Camel pose. Listen very carefully, word by word. Everybody should do it together, not before and not after. Come to the top of the towel. Stand up on your knees. Six inches inside the legs, between the knees and the feet. Get your hands on the hips. Fingers face to the floor. Thumbs outside. Take a deep breath. Push your hips forward toward the mirror. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Go back halfway and stop in the middle. First only, right hand down, grab the right heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Then left hand down, grab the left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Full grip, the hands, palms, please don't lose your grip. Inhale, breathing, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward toward the mirror, continuously keep pushing. Everybody push, push more, everybody push harder. Make sure your back hurts. I want 360 degree angle, backward bending for gravitation. Put the hands on the hips. Yep, support your back coming out. Push more forward, stop in the middle. Nice. Good. Turn around and relax on your back in dead body pose. All right, eyes open, breathing is normal. Hope you're drinking your water. Remember, half your body weight in ounces a day 
if you're a normal person, but you're not normal. You practice Bikram yoga. So hopefully you're drinking a lot more than half your body weight in ounces. It's really, really good for your health. So keep up with your drinking of water. I've got my Schweppes sparkling water right here. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, and breathing. Basically, sit up, exhale, breathing, grab the big toes, double jerk forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Second set, come to the top of the towel. Stand up on your knees. This time, eight inches between your knees. Your knees will be a little bit wider, but still six inches between your feet. Get your hands in the hips, fingers facing the floor, thumbs outside. Take a deep breath. Push your hips forward toward the mirror. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Go back halfway and stop in the middle. First only, right hand down, grab the right heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, the left hand down, grab the left heel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full grip for the hands, palms, please don't lose your grip. Inhale, breathing, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward toward the mirror, continuously keep pushing. Ready, push, push more, ready, push harder. Make sure your back hurts. I want 360 degree angles, backward bending for gravitation. Put the hands on the hips, push more forward, stop in the middle. Nice work. Turn around. And relax on your back in dead body pose. And that was our deep backward bend. And you see it's left towards the end of the class because it's a little bit more challenging to the body. You know, we'll be doing spine twisting in a sec. That's challenging posture to the body. You don't want too much spine twisting. Just enough of what the, di you know, the dialogue basically determines how long the posture is. And you just want to do what the dialogue tells you to do and no more. All right, eyes open, breathing as normal. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, inhale, breathing, quickly sit up, exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk forward to the knees, elbows to the floor, rabbit pose, turn around, sit down, Japanese style, knees and feet together, bring the towel over the feet, grab the heels over the towel, thumbs outside, Fingers inside, pulling your heels as hard as possible, tuck your chin in your chest, lift your stomach, and you go down front side, your forehead touches your knees, automatically the top of your head touches the floor, lift your hips up all the way, as high as possible, roll forward like a wheel, so your arms, elbows are straight, there's a gap between your forehead and knees, walk your knees up one by one, make sure your spine is stretching top to bottom, neck might hurt a little bit, throat choke, eyes open, breathe normal, pull harder, hips up more. Slowly come up. Okay. Feet back to play. Put around and relax. So second set to room. Make sure that setup is really, you know, I like to, I don't know why I always say locked and loaded, but that's the way that I think about it. Your body has to be ready for the posture. And the reason and the way that you get your body ready for the posture is you do the setup really well. All right, so make sure that you're checking the chin to the chest because I want the top of your head. It would look a little bit like your forehead was on the floor. That's why I said this. All right, so just make sure the top of your head as best you can. You know, like your measurements are a little bit like mine, right? So I think you, I'm pretty sure you can do it and do it well. All right, eyes open, breathing is normal. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, inhale, breathing. Quickly sit up, exhale, breathing, grab the big toes, double jerk forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. All right, turn around, sit down, Japanese down, knees and feet together. Moving the towel over the feet. Grab your heels over the towel. Thumbs outside. Fingers inside. Pulling your heels as hard as possible. All right. Now, tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. And you go down front side. Your forehead touches your knees. Forehead touches your knees. Automatically, the top of your head touches the floor. Lift your hips up all the way as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel. So your arms, elbows are straight. This is a gap between your four knees. Walk your knees up one by one. Make sure your spine is stretching top to bottom. Neck might hurt a little bit. Throat choke. Eyes open. Breathe normal. Pull harder. Hips up more. Good. Slowly come up. See, that was better. Second set room. Good, good, good. Turn around and relax on your back in dead body pose. All right, good work. Heels together. Feet fall open. Eyes are open, your breathing is normal. All 
All right, we're going to do spine twisting. Remember to take this posture step by step. Don't rush ahead. Don't turn before the dialogue says turn. Because you need just the right amount of medicine. You don't need too much medicine. Okay, so just do it with the dialogue. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Heels on the floor. Arms over your head. Cross your thumbs. Remember, breathing. Quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing. Grab the big toes. Double jerk forward to the knees. Elbows. So we're, no, we're, not, we're not at spine twisting yet. All right, first we're going to do head to knee with stretching pose. Turn us to face in front of them. Look, I had you out here early. Mm, no, no. You've got more suffering to do. All right, turn us to face in the front of the room. Right leg out corner wise. Bend your left leg. Heel touching the costume. Great pressure with the left foot. Hits the right leg. Bicep of the thigh muscle. Both legs look like an L. 90 degree angle. Arms over your head. Turn to the right. Grab your right foot. Two inches below the toes. Ten finger in a lock. Pull in the toes. Flex the foot. Get the heel up off the floor in the air. Then like grab it. Looks like your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee. If the forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee. Your forehead should touch the knee. Bring the elbows down next to the calf muscles. Suck your stomach in. Push your knee down. Forehead touching position. Left elbow down. Left shoulder down. Roll in. Roll into the left. Get your head closer to your stomach. Push your knee down. Change. Come up. Left leg out corner wide. Bend your right leg. Heel touching the costume. Great pressure with the right foot. Against the left leg. Bicep and the thigh muscle. Both legs look like an L. 90 degree angle. Arms over your head. Turn to the left. Grab your left foot. Two inches below the toes, ten finger in a lock grip, pull the toes, flex the foot. Get the heel up off the floor in the air. Then like rabbit folks, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee of the forehead and you're not touching. Bend your knee, your forehead should touch the knee. Bring the elbows down next to the calf muscles, tuck your stomach in, push your knee down, forehead, touch your position, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll in, roll into the right. Get your head close to your stomach, push your knee down, change. Come up, both legs down in front of you, lie down your back. Sit up, please, immediately. Grab your big toes from the top. With your index and middle fingers, look in the mirror. Walk your hips back, right and left, right and left, right and left. 10 to 15 times until your knees are locked. No knees. Flex your feet. Get your heels up off the floor in the air. Then only bring your elbows down next to your calf muscles. Head up, chin up, look in the mirror. Inhale, breathing. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Pull in your toes, your goal. To one day, touch your head. To your feet. Change. Come up. Nice. Turn around. Good work. And relax on your back. In dead body pose. Heels together. Feet fall open. Eyes open. Breathe normally. So we say that this posture is, is essentially the, the stretching part of this posture is the sit-ups that you've been doing all class. That's right. So the better your sit-ups are, the better the stretching part of the posture will be. The difference between the stretching posture and the sit-ups is that the forehead isn't going to the knees, the forehead is going to the feet, right? So you're headed towards your feet and not headed towards your knees like you are in the sit-up, all right? But Bikram says the better the sit-ups are, the better the stretching posture is. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, Now breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab the big toes, double jerk forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, sit face in the front of the room. Right leg out, corner wise. Bend your left leg. Heel touching the costume. Create pressure with the left foot against the right leg. Bicep to the thigh. Muscle both legs look like an L. 90 degree angle. Arms are Turn to the right. Grab the right foot. Two inches below the toes. Ten finger in a lock grip. Pull in the toes. Flex the foot. Get the heel up off the floor in the air. Then like rabbit post, like your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee. If the forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee. Your forehead should touch the knee. Bring the elbows down next to the calf muscles. Suck your stomach in. Push your knee down. Forehead. Touch your position, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll in, roll into the left. Get your head close to your stomach, push your knee down. Change, come up. Left leg out corner wise, bend your right leg, heel touching the costume, create pressure with the right foot against the left leg, bicep of the thigh, muscle both legs look like an L. 90 degree angle, arms over your head, turn to the left, grab your left foot, two inches below the toes, 10 finger in a lock grip, pull in the toes, flex the foot, get the heel up off the floor in the air. Then like rabbit posts, like your chin to your chest, look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee. If the forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee. Your forehead should touch the knee. Bring the elbows down next to the calf muscles. Suck your stomach in. Push your knee down. Forehead touching position. Right elbow down, right shoulder down. Roll in, roll into the right. Get your head close to your stomach. Push your knee down. Change. Come up. Both legs out in front of you. Lie down on your back. Sit up, please, immediately. Grab your big toes from the top with your index and middle fingers. Look in the mirror. Walk your hips back, right and left, right and left, right and left. 10 to 15 times until your knees are locked. No knees. Flex your feet. Get your heels up off the floor in the air. Then only 
bring your elbows down next to your calf. Lift your head up, chin up, look in the mirror. Inhale, breathing, stretch your body forward from the lower spine, pull in your toes, your goal. Do one day, touch your head to your feet. Change, good, good work. Come up, turn around and relax on your back in dead body pose. So you had an opportunity there for another set, two sets of, com of compression, right? You had the chin to the chest compression, and then you had the forehead to the knee compression. So good for, of course it's great for your abdominal muscles, right? But it's also great for the organs inside of those muscles. So flush them out a little bit, and when you release that compression, blood's flowing into those organs, making them healthier. That's one of the beautiful things that yoga is doing, massaging your internal organs when you do these postures. Isn't that great that you can massage your internal organs with these postures? You're making your, your organs healthier. Eyes open, breathe normally. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs down, breathing. Quickly sit up, exhale, breathing, grab the big toes, double jerk, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. All right, spine twisting pose. Remember, take it step by step. Don't jump ahead. Bend your left leg on the floor. Bring your right foot over your left knee corner, H-E-E-L. Right heel touching the left knee, foot is flat on the floor, both hips touching the floor comfortably. Keep your spine perfectly straight, perpendicular, 90 degree angle. Left heel touching the hip, point the left toe. Bring the left arm up over the right knee, elbow exactly against the knee. Push the knee back by the help of the elbow. Turn your wrist, grab your left knee with your left hand. Look down, so make sure hand, heel, knee, all three things touching each other at the same Stay in spinal support. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Bring your right arm behind your back, palm facing out. Try to grab the thigh behind you with your fingertips. You can also keep your hands on the floor, fingers facing out. Push your hand against the floor to get your spine straight, chest up, spine up, rib cage open. Look to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Each and every vertebrae and cartilage should be twisting from top to bottom like a pearl necklace. Twist, twist, last chance, twist. Good. Change. Bend your right leg on the floor. Bring your left foot over your right knee corner, H-E-E-L, your left heel touching your right knee. Your foot is flat on the floor. Your both hips are touching the floor comfortably to keep the spine perfectly straight, perpendicular, 90 degree angle, right heel touching the hip, point the right toe. Bring the right arm up over the left knee, elbow exactly against the knee, push the knee back with the help of the elbow. Now turn your wrist, grab your right knee with the right hand, look down. To make sure hand, heel, knee, all three things touching each other at the same spinal floor. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Bring your left arm behind your back, palm facing out. Try to grab the thigh behind you with your fingertips. You can also keep your hand on the floor, fingers facing out. Push your hand against the floor to get your spine straight. Chest up, spine up, rib cage open. Look to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Each and every vertebrae and cartilage should be twisting from top to bottom. Like a pearl necklace. Twist, twist, last chance, twist. Change. Beautiful work, Maxine. That's exactly the way to do it. Take it step by step. You don't have to jump ahead. You don't want to take too much medicine, right? Because if you take too much medicine, it's no good. You don't want to kill yourself. You don't want to hurt yourself. So you take just the right amount. And how do you follow the directions on the bottle? You just listen to the dialogue step by step. And then that way you know you've taken the right amount of medicine, not too much. A lot of times we think more is better. No. Maybe once in a while, but not in Bikram Yoga. It's not in that last posture. Does the heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, cross your thumbs, sit up, breathing, quickly sit up, exhale, breathing, grab the big toes, double jerk, forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. All right, blowing in firm pose. Here you are. Turn around and sit down, Japanese style for blowing in firm pose. We began with pranayama breathing, good for the lungs, the end. We're flowing in firm pose, go for the digestive system, internal organs, and abdominal muscles. The left body looks very strong. Pull your stomach in and out. No inhale. Only exhale. Inhale happens automatic. Follow me, everybody. Your hands are on your knees. Your arms are straight. Your elbows are locked. Your spine is straight. Your stomach is completely relaxed. If you get dizzy or you get stomach cramps, it means you're doing it the right way. All right? Begin.
All right. Lick your lips, smile a couple of times, get ready for second set. Again, your chest is up, your spine is straight. Second set is a little bit faster. Begin. Good work, everybody. Turn around and relax on your back in dead body pose. Here's one thing I know for sure, okay? One thing I know for sure, you're healthier now than you were 90 minutes ago. So good for you getting here this morning and taking care of yourself, Jerome and Maxine, Janelle, Maureen, Andrew. Thank you for being here this morning. Now you can turn around and relax on your back. Close your eyes. Let all the tension leave your body. And know that you've taken care of yourself this morning. A really beautiful thing to do. So thank you again, guys, for being here. And I will see you next week. <laughs>